Good morning, Cancer signs. Welcome to your March 2020 reading. This is Sun Sun Mashi. I hope you guys enjoy this reading. I hope it resonates with you. If you're new here, welcome in. My name is Sun Wen. If you're a returning subscriber, then hi. <laughs> hope you're all doing well. We're going to just get right into the reading. So let's look at what you can expect for March. I'm shuffling this deck first for some reason, even though how I've been going about these first several readings is that I'm using this deck first. So that's funny. So <clears throat> let's look at the beginning of March. This came out in the Taurus reading, Yamanya Golden Opportunity important doors are opening for you right now walk through them so cancer and taurus you guys might be going through some similar energies or some of you listening like that might be connected that you know maybe it's like the energy like your moon sign is cancer and your sun sign is taurus or your sun sign is cancer and that's why you're here and maybe your moon or your rising is taurus something like that so Or it's like you and a Taurus are involved in some way, you know, something like that too. Like if for those of you listening or like, I think it's called cross watching where it's like you watch and it's like someone else's sign. Like if you know a Taurus and you feel deeply connected to one, maybe that reading when you listen to it, you'll be like, oh, hey, yeah, this is this has something to do with that person or something it could be like a family member i don't know so anyways the middle of march is nematona sacred space it says create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine wow so this is very similar to the taurus reading i was kind of so yeah if you, i don't know I, i'll i'll repeat the messages but now I am being drawn towards sort of this dolphin in the back. So, but that's just going to help me kind of relay the same message, which is that the opportunity is coming its way to you at the beginning of March. You just might not really um, be aware or you might not see the full manifestation of this golden opportunity until some somewhere down the road this could be weeks down the road months years it's not that you have to wait that long for for things in on your journey to come together and for things to get better or for things to change it's nothing like that it's just there is some particular big opportunity while maybe all sorts of other opportunities will you know life will happen but someday this will come when you least expect it basically and it's going to like allow you to trace your way backwards on like a tree of events. Like if we were to create like a, you know, a timeline that because event, this event worked and this one. So, or like a connect the dots. So hopefully this will make sense. It's like these are all events that will happen, right? This is like uh, March 1st, March 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, all the way up to the 31st. I know it says 12, but just, you know. And so it's like as you go about each day and you travel where wherever you choose to travel, but ultimately you reach the the days no matter what right basically once you reach um yamanya's opportunity for you the opportunity that the goddess yamanya or something that she has for you at some point you'll be able to in your mind kind of see and connect all the dots of how everything built up to this and that if you did 
anything different um, or something else, or yeah, pretty much, then you wouldn't have gotten to this exact point. But also, it'll allow you to see that from day one, you had this in the bag. You were already destined to make it to your destination. You're, you know, you're already going to make it there. So, yeah. That sometimes when I say that kind of stuff, it, I always want to say something like, you know, no matter what you do, you're going to reach that destination. But I guess that's the whole point is that you could do something different and then different things will happen. But let's get a card on that. Six of Wands. So. That's a pretty positive energy. That's a confident energy of like. Yeah, it's like. Ultimately, at this point, this opportunity. Has a will of its own and it's going to make its way to you. And you are going to be there at the right time when the opportunity is here for you. So what can you do during that time, right? This, create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. So you don't necessarily have to create an altar. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, though. As a cancer sign, it, it may be that some of you listening, you're more likely to be on board with that kind of idea. You might already have one, right? Um, things like that. This could be talking about meditation. This is just sort of talking about like literally doing symbolic um, ways of showing that you're trying, that you're just trying to communicate with the universe trying to connect with the divine you know so that could be lighting candles you know creating an altar um praying meditating um wishing you know you can grab like a coin and like wish and 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 throw the coin down a wishing well even that is is like creating that space to connect with the divine you know And then, and that makes sense. We are in Pisces season. And so at the end of March, we're getting Mawu, Mother. I think this car, no, this came out in the Gemini reading. But anyways, Mother Earth, you are called upon to help with environmentalism. So what I'm seeing with March is you're on a very spiritual journey, especially at this time, especially during Pisces season, a season of spirituality, um, self-reflection, checking in with yourself, um, focusing in on your, your own gifts and talents, your own, uh, wisdom, your own inner wisdom. I feel then, yeah, you're on your own sort of spiritual quest throughout March. So you're going to do your own thing basically. And then at the end, you'll have time to get out there and share what you've learned um, or to go out there and to also learn new things. So both of those messages I'm getting. So I'm just kind of getting like you may be I don't feel you're as I don't really feel like you're disconnecting in March, you know, with this card here. So you're just kind of utilizing all of what you've learned about having time to yourself and applying that to your March. Yeah. And in the middle of this month, we're getting the 10 of seven, sorry, the seven of pentacles and the 10 of pentacles. So yeah, it's like progress in the physical world. There's going to be steps forward, but it's also going to be a lot of waiting. So I see that you're getting 
like very comfortable with the flow and accepting the pace in which the flow is at at this time. I feel like it's slowed down to a pace that Cancer signs that, that you guys are more used to. And I feel like some of you hearing this are kind of like, finally, things are slowing down. It's not just like chaotic and fast. So. Yeah. So yeah, this is going to be a, a time of pause in the physical world. But it's the exact time of pause you need for you to get to your future goals in the physical world. So the final message is the King of Wands. Wow, this is going to be a very complete month. This month is going to stand alone. And so the end of the month, there is going to be like some sort of conclusion. Some sort of like, wow, that was March. So... And then the final thing I want to say is the end of March is Aries season. So, you know, that's the end of the Zodiac year, so to speak, and the new year in the, in the astrology, so to speak. You know, going from the last and the last horoscope, Pisces, the, the final and 12th house, starting again to, you know, the first house, Aries. Kind of like completing a day, completing a year, you know, on the clock. So, yeah, entering Aries season is going to be very exciting and a breath of fresh air for you, Cancer Signs. So, let's see if there's any other messages to bring up about what you might be experiencing in March. So you are experiencing throughout it feeling confident and capable in your own abilities and a sense of patience or restlessness in the physical world at times. And by the end of March, what you'll be experiencing is once again, confidence and success and seeing that things are going to be, the, the bigger picture is going to be manifesting for you. You see it coming together. You're seeing that you're a lot closer than you realized at a time before, maybe like in January or in February, or just like further back in the past, or maybe just the start of March. But we are getting infinite possibilities coming out here. So. I like that it's the stars and we were doing like a connect the dots, which is like stars in the sky and you connect the stars, you know? So yeah, I'm just kind of getting like, you could end up anywhere. <laughs> so this March is what you make it and it's more in a spiritual sense. Once you go through your spiritual quest, that's what's happening in March. And you're going to end up somewhere very unique. The possibilities are infinite. So get daydreaming, get fantasizing, get meditating, you know, get um, planning your future, Pl get you know, creating your vision for your future. If you can't take the physical action steps that you want to in the material world, you can start actually putting in the spiritual work of asking yourself what you want your future to look like, what you want your life, your reality to look like, um, and things like that. Cancer signs, I do feel like that does come a lot more natural to you as a water sign. It doesn't have to come natural if it's like difficult for any of you listening to take the time out of your day to like visualize or things like that. That's completely okay. I still feel it is still in your nature to be able to hone in on those abilities, on your creativity, your uh, imagination, um, your psychic abilities. These are all words that sort of mean the same thing to me. Putting in the spiritual work, you know, of creating your journey, C 
creating your life. So what opportunities lie ahead of you are infinite. So that's why this golden opportunity is going to find its way to you no matter what. Because anything you decide that you want for yourself, that's the only thing you need to do to make the choice. So if you choose something different, yes, you'll get a different timeline, a different future, a different reality. But yeah, whatever it is that you want, that's sort of locked in place. It's like, yeah, that's going to happen sort of no matter what because of all the different possibilities of different timelines that could happen. They are all possibilities that include you, (laughs) you know, because you're thinking about yourself now and what you want and that you want to feel good and that you want to feel successful on your journey. So, so long as you connect with yourself, basically, and that allows you in turn to connect with the universe, with the divine, you will then be creating from the possibilities of Yamanya, basically, of the golden possibilities, the golden opportunities. So I do feel like those are going to materialize into physicality. Those are the same words I know, being a little bit redundant, but those are going to come to you in physical reality, even just by the end of March. And then, yes, the full form of it is going to show itself further. That's what I was getting for Taurus energy, for Cancer signs. I am getting for you that some of you listening, a lot of you listening, you are going to see bigger proof, basically, that those manifestations are here already just in March. So Taurus energy, they need to be a little more patient with this opportunity showing itself. But Cancer signs, I feel like because you're a water sign, you have that the psychic abilities, the intuition, it could be very similar to Taurus energy where it is like, it's really that the progress is about the same, but because you have more confidence in your psychic abilities, that you are going to have more trust at the end of this month. But Taurus is going to need more support um, from the universe, giving proof that the universe exists, that Their intuition is real, that their psychic abilities are developing. You know, Taurus signs might need more um, time to trust themselves that that they are their own creator. Cancer signs, I feel like you're not really having a difficulty, a difficult time trusting it throughout this month. And I think, again, that has a lot to do with being a Cancer sign, with Having that psychic ability, that intuition. We all have those, you know, of course. But, you know, having that kind of be the energy that was channeled into you through the sun when you were born. It's like that's a very powerful energy of being able to connect with the moon. Being able to connect with your emotions. So... Yeah, that's what I have for you, Cancer Signs. I hope that all made sense. And I hope you have a good month. I love you all so much. I will talk to you all later. So, yeah, till next time. Take care.